Okay, I'm back again, um, finishing up part two of my um, carbon spider here. And like I said, uh, just make sure all your screws are tight on your bow. Um, make sure your sight is tight. Make sure your um, your actual pin isn't loose. You know, anything can cause your bow to rattle. You know, and that's why you know you got to really be careful on adding a whole lot of silences to it because your bow is quiet. I mean, before you, because your bow is loud. But one thing about it, your bow can be loud because something may be loose on your bow. So just make sure you have everything tweaked before you decide to add a lot of stuff on it. Because, the, you know, remember, the more you add, the heavier your bow going to get. You know, in some cases, guys like heavy bows. And some guys like lighter bows. And me, I got spoiled with this bow. You know, and I, for some reason, you know, I, I think I'm going to stay with Hoyt for a while. Because they hit a home run with this bow. So let me take one more shot and um, let you guys listen to the sound of this bow. It's easy to draw as well. I'm shooting 71 pounds, 29 inch draw. I mean, that's that's amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and let you, you know, take take a look at the shot. I mean, I'm only shooting like 15 yards, but I'm just demonstrating it. Okay. Okay, I'm taking you down here to the target, letting you take a look at it. It's extremely hot out here. It's like 90 degrees, and like I said, I don't wore this target out, you know. I'm just letting you know, you know, looking at the shot, so, you know, I can hit anything, I can miss or whatever, but it's always proof to show, you know, where you hit the target at, so just letting you know what I'm doing to this target, I'm just demolishing this thing, all right, so it's uh, it's doing really well, uh, I'm dialed in, and like I said, I got my, uh, got a few, vi uh, got a few, um, got, a, got my SD cards out of the woods just a few minutes ago. And I'm dying to take, you know, going back and, you know, taking a look at, see what's in there. Because I got, you know, like I said, I got, uh, got some real nice shooters. I got like seven shooters so far back here, you know, on my Fulton County track. But, you know, I'm, I know I'm ready. You know, I'm ready to shoot. You know, the bow was great. You know, it's, it's just, it's quiet. It's the way I want it, you know, because when I was shooting another bow, I'm going to go ahead and name it. I shot the Barrett Corners last year. And that Barrett Corners, you know, I had it dialed in, but well, I wasn't even using a stabilizer. So, and I was, when I hit that trigger release on that buck, I mean, on that bow, uh, the deer never even knew that I was shooting. And that's the kind of, you know, that's the kind of hunting you want. You know, you don't want, you don't want to get a super fast bow just because it's fast, you know, and it's self preference but like I said, if you get, you know, these real fast bows I got up now, just make sure it's quiet when you hit that release because if it ain't quiet, you know, you're going to miss a lot of deer. I don't care how fast you're shooting, you know, because when you hit that trigger release, that's that's going to be the key. That's going to be the most critical sound. Uh, when you hit that trigger release, that's going to be the most critical sound of your bow when you hit it because, you know, once you hit it, that arrow still has to travel from you to that deer. So I always, you know, come to the conclusion, you know, where if I got a quiet bow, when I hit that release, if he don't flinch or drop down when I hit that release, that's, that's, that's the kind of bow I like to hunt with because, you know, I've been very successful with bows like that. When I hit that release and the bow, I mean, the deer don't, don't flinch, that's exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, conclude this video. It's extremely hot out here. Um, I was just coming back and checking my cameras just to see what I got on there. And I'm going to be posting a few photos on my uh on my Facebook wall. Also, um, whoever see this here, I want to thank you for um, coming on to my um, Iceman forum, you know, and I appreciate y'all supporting me, um, and I'll do whatever I can to help any of you. Um, plus, uh, like I said, Bucks and Beard Scents, those are some great guys. Uh, LTD uh, Outdoors, those are some great guys, you know, we're very, very classy guys, you know. I couldn't ask for, you know, a better set of guys to be around to be in, you know, around the table with. Um, so I know this season is going to be a really, really great season. Next season is going to be even a better season. So, and I'm definitely, um, I'm, I'm, I'm challenging my own self to get two more shooters this year. You know, I know it's not going to be easy, but, you know, I'm very confident in my bow, you know, and I'm very confident in all my, my equipment, my arrows, my broadheads, you know, and the scents. I got some amazing scents from Bucks and Bear scents this year. You know, again, you know, it's just a phenomenal um, on the stuff that they're putting out. You know, I mean, they have the smoking hot estrus. You know, that stuff is killer. Uh, doing the rut, you know, they have minerals um, year-round, great uh, seed plants year-round. Um, overall, great attractions.
great cover up Santa. You know, they got some really, really hot stuff out there. So y'all go to uh, BuckSpearScent.com, you know, and order some of the stuff. Because like I said, I keep my, I keep my claws in stock with the stuff, you know, because it's really uh, stepped my game up. Yeah, stepped my game up this year. Um, so um, like I said, I'm definitely going to be uh, um, sitting behind, or should I say kneeling behind two shooters from my, from my track. You know, I'm not even including the other tracks because, you know, I got just that much confidence in myself, you know, and my equipment. All right, so this is uh, Iceman John Bailey coming at you from Bucks and Bear Sense. LTD Outdoors, God bless you, and I hope to see you soon.